Asbury Dwellings um, came about because Reverend Williams had a relationship with the head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And we were able through them to get a designation to um, sponsor a senior citizen uh, facility. Time was running out and we had not found that facility. And so I'm not sure who came to DC government, but at the time I was working in the Department of Housing and Community Development. This was in the early 80s. And so um, <laughs> I remember members of the church showing up for this meeting and I said to my boss, this is my church, can I sit in the meeting? And we heard about the fact that, you know, we needed to find property or the, the monies from HUD were going to go away. And so through the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, several properties were identified. And Asbury uh, Dwellings, which was an abandoned school, was the old Shaw Junior High School, became the designated site for Asbury Dwellings. And so uh, over time, I helped them from the inside as a government employee to get everything in order uh, for us to get that building. What was exciting about it is it, the neighborhood it was in is not that far from our church and part of our history. And also we were able to do the first adaptive reuse of a school into residences. So I um, was asked one day if I could come on the board of Asbury Dwellings and so I worked with the lawyers in the in the department and they said as long as you know you keep the lines in the right place there's no problem with you doing that and so I uh, worked very closely with Harold Tinsley who was the head of the board at that time and mostly the members were, uh, the officers of different officers were on the board and then everybody on the board had an affiliation with as, uh, Asbury, Asbury Dwellings. The Board of Asbury Dwellings. And um, we had DeLong Harris as our attorney, who was also a member of the church. And then uh, Flaxie Pinkett, uh, her company became our management company. And so we had a very exciting project, a very complicated project, in turning this building into senior housing. And we had a very early good history and it being a very solid project here in the District of Columbia. So you're managing construction, design, accessibility, everything. I was working on those, uh, the, on those issues and had no real experience in any of them. I was gaining it in my career, and Asbury gave me the opportunity to see it play out. <laughs> Excellent. And I, and I would also say that um, many years later, after I became the, the president of the board, and I stayed president of the board until I became the city administrator in Washington, D.C. Didn't have the time to commit, and so uh, worked with the board in that transition period. And then if you fast forward, um, we got probably about 12 years ago, um, one morning our phone rang. Uh, by then I was married to Curtis Cole, uh, Jr., and we got a phone call from Reverend Shockley. And he indicated that we had some issues with Asbury Dwellings in terms of, you know, the physical condition of the building and just some concerns about management. And he asked if that was something that I would help him and members of the church figure out. And I said to him at the time, I'm willing to do that, but my husband needs to come along with me on this project because this is his business and he knows how to do this. And so we were surprised at just what had happened over time. And I will say with all due respect, with members aging in positions and regulations and rules and neighborhoods changing and HUD officials and administrations changing, that we lost the edge and the prominence that we had but we were determined that we were going to maintain that property. And so Curtis, and I thank him for it, he allowed one of our employees at Curtex Construction to become dedicated to really figuring out and solving the puzzle to figure out where things were and what needed to be done and to help us get it back into place. But we were able to work that out and work with the board and work with the church to make sure that that building is a real pride for us at this point in time. And 
We had to do a lot of uh, repointing of the building. But, you know, when I was a kid, this building was known as, um, as Terrible Shaw. And so it's a building that people know and one of the most successful senior uh, citizen residences in the city. It's at the corner of 7th and Rhode Island Avenue Northwest. Wonderful. So that's probably one of my prides, to be able to help us get it. And it's been, I think, one of our strongest ministries um, through the church.